3D printers come in several different categories. First, you've got the super cheap models that you have to build and upgrade by yourself. Then there are the super expensive models that have very little assembly times are full of automated features and perform most or all of the calibration and configuration steps by themselves. Then there's a middle category where you spend a good amount of money, but you get a solid, dependable printer, albeit lacking many of the high-end features. And then there's my favorite category, the surprising gem, where the price is low and the build quality is high. The Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro is in that category of amazing gems, and in this video, I'll tell you why the Neptune 3 Pro is now my pick for the best 3D printer for the newcomer to the market. I'll tell you why the Neptune 3 Pro is right or wrong for you, and why nobody seems to know anything about this printer. An important disclaimer, I was not paid for this review. I have no financial connection to Elegoo, but they were nice enough to send me a resin printer and the Neptune 3 Pro to test for a feature that I'm doing on Petapixel.com, and I was so impressed with the printer, I decided to do the standalone video, which they also have no input into. My family really got into 3D printing when my son got a Prusa Mini Plus as a birthday present. Prusa printers are squarely in that middle category. They're a bit expensive, but they're known to just keep going and going. But the $450 price tag on the Mini Plus is really high for a printer with only a 180mm bed, and it's really, really high now that the Bamboo Lab P1P is about $700. In terms of reliability, the Mini is great, but oh my god, it's so small. Right now, the Neptune 3 Pro has a sale price of $230 down from $300. You could buy two Neptune 3 Pros with a 225 by 225 by 280 bed and get features that the Prusa Mini Plus does not. We have a lot of printers in our studio to review right now, and one of them is a well-known printer from a well-known brand, and it has taken me weeks of several hours at a time trying to get a complete print out of it. Meanwhile, I've put about 5 kilograms of filament to the Neptune 3 Pro over here while I've been trying to get this other printer even to complete a single print. There are also two other models of the Neptune 3, the Plus and the Max, both with the same print technology and the features as the Pro, but with much larger build volumes. In fact, those are the ones I was trying to get from Elegoo when they sent me this printer. Those ones weren't available yet, and I'm glad that they weren't because I might not have paid any attention to the 3 Pro if I had gotten the Plus or the Max. The Neptune 3 Pro has a relatively modest print area, but it's a perfect size for a first 3D printer. It's large enough to handle any model, spaceship, or art piece that you want to do, but not so big that you really have to worry about issues with the leveling at the corners of the bed. The Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro is on paper the best featured printer for someone new to 3D printing, and honestly, a lot of things that are great on paper end up being just garbage in the real world, but the Neptune 3 Pro has been as good on my desk as it has been on paper, and it's become one of my go-to printers. It's so good that it's surprising no one knows about this, but Elegoo is best known for their resin printers, and I think that's the main reason people don't know about the Neptune line. I was able to get the Neptune 3 Pro from box to printing in under 30 minutes. That is a sharp contrast to the partially assembled Prusa Mini Plus, which took about 4 hours to put together. The Bamboo P1P took me only about 15 minutes, so 30 minutes from start to finish on a printer at this level is fantastic. That filament runout sensor I mentioned is a feature that's often an upgrade on other printers. Runout centers will stop a print job when the spool has run out of filament, allowing you to replace the roll instead of just ruining the print. The way that the Neptune 3 Pro handles filament is impressive too. On a 3D printer, the extruder is the device that moves the filament into and out of the nozzle. Filament on the Neptune 3 Pro runs from the holder on the top of the printer through the runout sensor and then down to the print head where a direct drive extruder is found. On many printers, the extruder is near the filament spool holder, and then the filament runs from the extruder to the print head through what's called a Bowden tube, which is a thin, slippery plastic tube. Having the extruder as part of the print head is a major performance boost because it reduces feeding errors, the most common source of print failure. The fact that the Neptune 3 Pro has the extruder at the print head is one of the main reasons this is my top pick. The extruder is also made out of stainless steel, and it can support PLA, TPU, PETG, and ABS filament. Automatic leveling in the Neptune 3 Pro uses built-in sensors in the print head to measure the variations in the height of the print surface and adjust them on the fly to compensate. If the print surface isn't level, you don't get correct prints in the same way as if you build on a hill and you don't level your foundation, your house is going to be crooked. Another nice touch is that the print bed that comes with the Neptune 3 Pro is coated with a material called PEI. This textured coating is like the Teflon to 3D printing. When it's warm, filament will stick very well to it, and when it cools, prints just pop off. Elegoo resin printers are known for their great user interfaces and their fantastic displays, and the Neptune 3 Pro inherits the clear, simple design and sensibility from its siblings. The Neptune 3 Pro has a beautiful 4.3-inch touchscreen. Unlike most printers, the display is connected to the machine by a corded cable, allowing you to move it away from the printer when you're standing at a distance, or when your printer is in a print farm and it's up above you or below you. Elegoo even included LED lights. And again, it's often an extra on other printers. So, of course, there's negatives with the Neptune 3 Pro, right? 
there are very, very few negatives. The first negative is that it's not very fast, which is really common for printers before the Bamboo P1P and the X1 came out and set the standard for speed. With the stock settings, the Neptune 3 Pro prints at about 30% the speed of my Bamboo P1P, around the same speed as my Prusa Mini Plus. My final small issue, and this shows you just how much is right with this printer, comes down to the test print and the filament. Elegoo provides only one object to print on the micro SD card, and it is this adorable Buddha. It would be great to at least have a standard Benchy already pre-sliced in order to compare it to other printers. Which brings up my last problem with the printer, it only has a tiny amount of filament. I mean, barely no filament. It's just enough to get the Buddha printed, and that's it. But on the other hand, I'd rather buy a spool of good filament myself than pay extra to have one included with the printer. Not having a half or a full spool cuts down on both the size and the weight of the package, which is important when you're shipping things from China to the United States. Right now, the Neptune 3 Pro is 100% my pick for the best 3D printer to start with, and it is a fantastic printer for any school or STEM club. So what do you think about the Neptune Pro 3? Would you buy this as your entry-level printer, or maybe as a reliable workhorse for a print farm? Would you go for the bigger ones, the Plus or the Max, or would you turn to another brand entirely? You will find links to buy the Neptune 3 Pro below, as well as links to my favorite 3D printing things like filaments and accessories. But really, I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this printer and where you think it fits in the competition. If you'd like to see more of my honest real world reviews, you can do that here. If you'd like to subscribe and please do, it really helps out. You can do that here and you can get some sweet, sweet merch below. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. And as always, thanks so much for giving this a try. That is the longest I've sat up in one place since my knee surgery. Now I'm going to go ice my leg and take a nap.